We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of the most holy name of Jesus. And by this, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all invited to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my, my fault, through my, my fault, through my, my most grievous, grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded the salvation of human race on the incarnation of your word, Give your peoples the mercy they implore, so that all may know that there is no other name to be invoked but the name of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the midst of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. If you consider that God is righteous, you also know that everyone who acts in righteousness is begotten by Him. See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him. For we shall see Him as He is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin commits lawlessness, for sin is lawlessness. You know that he has revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who remains in him sins. No one who sins has been seen him or known him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth 
have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please all stand. The Word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted Him, He gave power to become the children of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, a man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have sinned and testified that he is the Son of God. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Happy New Year and good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We come together to start our journey in this new year that we all receive. And we give thanks to our loving God for trusting us this days to come, filled with His blessings, guidance, and protection, that we may be able to live out with faithfulness and perseverance to bring and to embrace the real presence of God. As we honor today the holy name of Jesus, it is our voice, it is our identity, mother, brothers, and sisters, in our lives, through our actions, and our relationship by one another. 
He is our proclamation that the incarnate Son, whom we see and experience the presence of God's love for all of us. In our readings of today, Mother Brothers and Sisters tells us about how to carry out or to manifest in our lives the Christmas that we receive and we celebrate every day to proclaim God is our mission and vision because there is a righteousness. His righteousness is our duty to imitate in every step of our journey as we start or to embark this new year. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the holy name of Jesus, we bring the name of Jesus as our identity that we are all saved by the power of or His presence for all of us. And this is the life that we possess with righteousness and recognizing the presence of God in our life every day. He is the Lamb of God. As we heard in our gospel today, He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Like John the Baptist, mother, brothers and sisters, we are all reminded that He knows His mission and fulfills it. Fully aware that He will be losing the people whom have been flocking to Him. He prepares the people to repent. But only Jesus can take away their sins. As we journey, my dear brothers and sisters, we all know that we have our frailty. Mayroon po tayong mga kahinaan. Mayroon tayong mga hindi inaasahan na pagtalikod sa ating Panginoon. But again, my dear brothers and sisters, we receive the incarnate Son this season of Christmas. And by the name of Jesus, we are all reminded. By this, we are all saved. And we give life in His toward in His kingdom, toward His life that everlasting that the Lord expected and given for all of us today. Mother, brothers and sisters, sabi po sa atin, at naniniwala tayo sa ating buhay pang araw-araw, may kabutihan at kabanalan ang handog ng Diyos para sa atin. Every step, Every journey that we have in this world, may kabutihan at may kabanalan ang dala ng Diyos na ibinibigay sa ating lahat. That is why, mother brothers and sisters, this is our duty to manifest in our lives. To bring the name of Jesus in our lives every day, I hope and pray it will bear fruit of His goodness, holiness, coming from ourselves, coming from our actions, coming for our behaviors, coming in our relationship with one another. Mother, brothers and sisters, be a witness of God's name entrusted each one of us today. Be the witness of His holy name that the Lord entrusted each one of us every day. May binibigay na pangalan ang Diyos na ang pangalan na ito ay may kaakibat na dapat nating tanggapin at buhayin at magkaroon ng buhay na may kabutihan at may kabanalan sa ating arpang araw-araw na buhay. May the holy name of Jesus be our daily banner, mother, brothers and sisters, as we walk together in this new year that the Lord entrusted to us, imitating His righteousness every day. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, be, may the name of the holy name of Jesus be our identity, our banner every day to proclaim His goodness through our action. Ang banal na pangalan ni Jesus, 
na dapat nating isa buhay at dapat nating tanggapin at makita sa bawat isa sa atin. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ito'y magkakaroon ng kaligtasan na ibinibigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, we are called to be the testimony, the love of God that we partake in every celebration of the Eucharist. In effect, magkaroon ito ng kagana, kagandahang loob at kabutihan sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, we are all reminded that we are all recipients of God's goodness. We partake as St. John the Baptist, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Receiving the Lamb of God, we are bringing to a life na hindi dapat po tayo mahulog sa kapahamakan, hindi mahulog sa kasalanan sa ating pang-araw-araw na paglalakbay sa pasimula ng panibagong taon na ipinagkakatiwala sa atin ng ating Panginoon. As we conclude this celebration and this reflection, my dear brothers and sisters, I hope and pray we uphold the name of Jesus. We bring the name of Jesus every day that He is the, three, the true presence given for all of us, partaking His love of God, His body in our celebration that we attended in Eucharist. Truly, the Spirit of God is with us. Emmanuel, this Christmas that we receive, God is with us. Amen. Please all stand. My dear brothers and sisters, John the Baptist points to Jesus as the Son of God. Let us turn our hearts and minds to Him as we pray. Let us witness to You, O Lord. Let us witness to You, O Lord. That the leaders and members of the Church may go out of their own little words to bring people to knowledge of Jesus with their self-effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us witness to you, O Lord, that those in public office may not seek personal gain but give the best of themselves for the interests of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us witness to you, O Lord, that parents may realize their special mission of discipleship of the community in handing of the faith to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us, Let us witness, witness to, to you, O Lord, Lord, that all those who are sick and suffering may come to know that God the Father cares for them and that they are precious in His eyes. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us, Let us witness, witness to you, you O Lord, Lord, that our friends who in baptism died with Christ and have known completed their earthly journey may share in the power and glory of His resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us witness, witness to you, you O Lord. Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. God, our Father, you have filled your promise to us by the gift of your Son. Grant the, us the grace to become true witnesses of his coming. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Offer you fruit of the earth and work of the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
blessed are you, Lord God of all grace, and goodness and our sin, the wine you offer you, fruit of the vine, and mark of the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Bringing you these offerings from what your bounty bestows on us, we pray, O Lord, just as you have given to Christ, obedient even until death, the name that saves. So you may grant us protection by its power to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shown upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him, God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy their farthest gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and each of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ may be guarded unto one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
Mother of God, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we are made to be coerced to eternal life and a praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and firm by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us give us this day our, our daily, daily bread and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses. Our trespasses. As, as we, we forgive those who trespass, those who trespass against, us, against us, and lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, into temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, the word, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May the sacrificial gifts offered to your majesty, O Lord, to honor Christ's name, in which we have now received, fill us, we pray, with your abundant grace, so that we may come to rejoice that our names too are written in heaven to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Healing Rosary this evening will be hosted by the Shrine of the Holy Face of Jesus in Napikuan, Nueva Ecija. We will pray together this evening at 9 o'clock in the evening as we pray the Healing Rosary for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.